الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نوية الأربعين نوية الاعتكاف نوية الخلوة نوية العزة نوية الرياضة نوية السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد The most important most important point that all prophets came people they say that messengers they came to give to send Allah's message to humanity which is correct but what is the point the most important point is that message means to build a relationship that rela- relationship that when we came to dunya we forgot a lot of it that to bring back that relationship that was between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the creator and us as his servants We are, we, we have to know that we are servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not we are o- obeying Allah, not obeying shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able, has the power, has everything, because he is the creator, Shaitan is created. So Allah has the power to put Shaitan at any moment down completely. But his wisdom is to check our faith means prophets came to build back what we have destroyed the relationship between us and our creator many people not many uh, most of us that relation is not anymore there it is lost although uh, we are we might say people might say we are praying five prayers we are fasting we are doing this and we are doing that yes but like a computer and many here programmers sitting computer engineers they say oh this website is there but there is no link you cannot you might you they tell you that there there is a website but when you put a link the link is broken there is no link what engineers they do they build back that link in order that that home page, what you call it, home page, to appear back. So, our website that was and that is still in the divine presence, the link to it here is broken. Wherever you click through your prayers, or your fasting, or your what you are doing of whatever you are doing of worshipness, if your faith is not strong, you you means your link is not able. You are going to access 
because the link is the face. If the face is being down to access that website, that page, that it is in the divine presence is not possible. Until we build back what we lost. And that's why engineers come and try to build back all these websites and they link them to each other. And then sometimes they say, this is what we are hearing, they say there is a huge uh, server or a huge, uh, what you say, uh, where all information, like telephone lines, go through, what you call that? Switch. That switch. They have to go through all these telephone lines. They have to go through a switch. And that switch might be in this place or that place. But everything has to go through that switch. And in that switch, there are keywords. They monitor you. Is that right? And they access what you are saying. And they know what you represent. There is also a spiritual switch. But they don't need to use keywords because they, they know. Because that these switches are those inheritors of the secret of Prophet وسلم, <coughs> that everything goes through them in order to reach <coughs> that main target which is the divine presence. So if that switch is not working means you are lost. Switch always works because it represents awliyaullah. But your link to them, your landline or your cell line, cell, cell phone line, is not accessing, it's, it's broken. There is a malfunctioning. You have to rebuild it. And that's why prophets came to build back that link. And that is what we are after every day, is to rebuild up back our faith. Is our, if our faith is broken, when you say, Allahu Akbar, you pray, uh, that link is broken. Where is your prayer going to go? Nowhere. And the example, because they might come and say, oh, this is, you are praying for Allah, your prayer will go. No. The example is one Prophet ﷺ was praying with Sahaba in uh, Taraweeh in Mecca. And Sahaba, some of the Sahaba, uh, when they were praying and they want to enter into the Aisha prayer and Taraweeh, Jibreel was coming on Prophet ﷺ descending and he said, and Prophet said, Ya Jibreel, why you are, there is a distance. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I cannot approach because some of your companion has eaten, they break their fast on onion and garlic. Although onion and garlic are, they benefit a human being. وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى لَنْ نَصْبِرْ عَلَى طَعَامٍ وَاحِدٍ فَادْعُ لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُخْرِجْ لَنَا مِمَّا تُنْبِتُ الْأَرْضُ مِنْ بَقْلِهَا من بقلها وقثائها وفومها وعدسها وبصلها قال 
تستبدلون الذي هو أدنى بالذي هو خير اهبطوا مصرا فإن لكم ما سألتم وضربت عليهم الذلة والمسكنة وباءوا بغضب من الله ذلك بأنهم كانوا يكفرون بآيات الله ويقتلون الأنبياء بغير حق ذلك بما عصوا وكانوا يعتدون that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us in this ayah that when they asked Musa alayhi salam Bani Israel that ask Allah for us to give us from the crops of the earth and Allah said and Allah said to Sayyidina Musa they want they are asking you to to get from something low uh, switching of what something comes from heaven because Allah was giving them man and salwa from heaven food from heaven saying they are asking something from earth and I'm giving them something from heaven they are replacing asking to replace what is best to what is lowest although it is lowest Allah gave them what is from earth of vegetables and he mentioned many of them like lentils and uh, flower beans and uh, uh, like cucumbers and like uh, uh, onion and so means all this has benefit for humanity with all that that has benefit for your body angels uh, were not able because some of the Sahaba of Prophet were eating onion and garlic were not able to come to approach from the smell because they are very subtle beings, spiritual beings. So when they are very subtle spiritual beings, so they cannot approach someone who ate a, a, a food that has smell because they are heavenly creatures. If they were eating only from man and salwa, from heavenly food, always angels will be with them. So Bani Israel asked, oh, we don't want that anymore. We want what is from earth. Means how every one generation after that begin to get from earth. Means awliyaullah, most of them they get their sustenance from where? Look, Virgin Mary, she's not a prophet. She's a woman, she's Waliya. And she's mother of Sayyidina Isa. Allah was giving her food from heaven. So, because they asked to change, Allah changed. And angels, because Sahaba were eating onion, although it is mentioned in the Quran that it is good, it's food for people angels were not able to come and to take that ibadah to the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because our ibadah when you say Allahu Akbar or make zikr or recite or fast all this goes by angels they take it angels take it up to the to the divine presence it's being carried out by angels as Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned because of the bad smell, they cannot take it anymore. It stay in its place. So if that onion is like that, they cannot take. And Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam said to the Sahaba, those who ate onion and garlic, let them move. They didn't. Because they want the love of Sayyidina Muhammad, they want the barakah of the Prophet he ordered Sayyidina Umar, Ya Umar, let all the Sahaba stand in line and blow. Anyone smelling, throw him out. <laughs> throw him out, but he... <laughs> because Prophet wants that blessings to come. And he said, I will guarantee that this blessing will come to you even you are not with, praying with me. 
that that smell was unable for the link to be connected. That link was broken because of the bad smell. Although it is onion and the garlic are there is benefit in it for a human being. What you think about Shaitan when he's playing with you? When Shaitan is playing with us? playing with our faith. So what happened with our faith, with our link? is broke. So when shaitan is playing with us, our smell, our mouth smell, is not garlic and onion. Garlic and onion must, might be in front of our smell like uh, the best uh, perfumes that has been uh, uh, invented by these professional uh, mode fashion, uh, uh, what you call them, Design. designers. <laughs> that they go, people buy uh, one bottle for $200, uh, dollar, $300, $500. And not only that, they buy that perfume to spray it. They buy also these uh, creams. Creams, <coughs> where they, uh, men and women, I'm seeing men also now, they try to put on their uh, uh, cheeks to make ch their cheeks red. red. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they are what you say, make up. Make up is not, it's make up. You know what does that mean? Make up means they are trying to hide their shaitanic personality under the cosmetic that's been invented by the masters of shaitan. Teaching them shaitan over shaitan, cover yourself. Man and woman. And especially women and men who are changing what we say, Khalqullah. Uh, to changing what Allah created in their, Allah created everyone in the best way that, uh, up, what you say, that for that person. They are changing what Allah created them. They are. They are uh, doing uh, eyes, uh, taking things from under the eyes. They are putting uh, under the cheek here uh, some uh, plastic surgery. Uh, they they are trying to become different. For what? For shaitan to be happy. Why? Because they want to look nice and to dress bathing suits. Is that? For what else? Nothing else. They want to expose their bodies, men and women. They are doing this because no more face. The face is gone. When face goes, the link is broken. And that we are not better than them. No. We are the same. All of us the same. Because our... Uh, smell that comes from our mouth, angels cannot carry. So they don't approach us from our prayers. That's why Zikrullah is important because it is a heavenly incense, incense perfume. It's not a shaitanic perfume. It's a heavenly perfume. You, you, they gave me this. They said. Use who gave it to me? I forgot. Use it, smell it. Very nice gift, everyone. Let us change satanic perfume. Move around. Yalla, we see stand up and. This is earthly perfume. Although it is earthly per perfume, when you smell what you say. 
it's recommended to say when you smell something nice what you say no 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 <laughs> no 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 Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad because Muhammad is the perfume a perfume for humanity that's why it's an order for every Muslim when he smells nice smell to say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad because that is the smell of Prophet perfumes, incense or if you call it incense or perfumes is coming from the Manifestation of Muhammad's name on earth. All these perfumes that has been invented, or they took from different flowers, it is the residue of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is from when Allah created Muhammad. From that light, one drop was that perfume on this universe. Uh, recite the ayah كانت وردة كالدهان الشقة السلام فكانت وردة كالدهان أو بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وانشأوا فإذا انشقت السماء فكانت وردة كالدهان فبأي آداء ربكما تكذبان that's what they say, the Big Bang. When the universe broke out, and that's what they are showing now, it came like a red flower. You saw that picture? That uh, NASA found it's like red flower. What is it? What is the flower? Who is the flower? It's Muhammad. Flower of the universe. Allah mentioned that it is when is in Shakkat al Sama Fakanat Warda Tantajah. When that big bang broke, it was a, uh, a, a, a a blossomed flower, red one. Warda Tantajahan is as if being painted nicely. And what Allah says, Why you are still. In what Allah gave to you, you are lying. So when we smell nice smell, what we say? <laughs> so this is this is from coming from the a drop that perfume. The whole perfume of the universe is coming from a drop of. Ocean of the light and the smell of Sayyidina Muhammad. So, Rabbi Rahmat 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 Rahmat. so when you smell, what did you say? Allah. That's why people will go, they go to prayer, what they do? Take and put. Is that? Why? To smell nice. Why to smell nice? <laughs> Because we are in the divine presence for angels to come to that smell. That is the literary meaning. But that is not the smell that you are going to attract the angels. The angels are not going to be... Uh, huh? No, not attracted. Fooled by it. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to come when you ha your heart and your mouth is wet with zikrullah as prophet sallam, when he was asked ya rasul allah qad kasrat alayya shara'i' al-islam when sahabi asked yes the prophet the, the discipline or the sharia became too much on me give me something easy he said ij'al lisanaka ratban bi zikrillah make your tongue wet with Zikrullah. I mean, Zikrullah is the perfume, is the real perfume. Or, uh, from Zikrullah is not or, and Zikrullah is Zikrul Habib, is the mentioning, remembering of Allah and remembering of the Prophet. 
Because he said, in Allah wa malaikatahu yusallona ala al-nabiyya ya ladina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu tasbima. So to build back our faith is so simple. Make Muhammad is the flower. Look at him that he is the perfume of universe. So when Muhammad is the perfume of universe, means your faith built that faith back to Prophet ﷺ means whatever he said for you must be 100% correct as Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq was saying Sadaqta Ya Rasulullah all his life whatever Prophet opened his mouth to say one word he says Sadaqta Ya Rasulullah nothing else he never he never asked a prophet a question or questioned prophet. Always sadaqta ya Rasulullah. So to build our faith is to put our in front of our eyes Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To put him in our eyes means to remember him by making salawat on him. So wherever you move, wherever you go, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad in your heart it's built back that link it keep your tongue clean from any kind of dirtiness because this world wherever you go now is a negative energy you sit with people you be polluted you sit at home you be polluted by the TV you sit at your desk, you are polluted by the shaitan that comes from computers. You speak with your wife or your children, you will be polluted, both of you, because arguing. So, negative energy is running after us, because shaitan is running after a human being. So how to get rid of that? To build back your link? Allah. is by salawat on Prophet sallallahu Keep means your tongue uh, wet with Zikrullah. So when you build your relationship back with Prophet Sallallahu means you have to go through the switch. You cannot go because your 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 uh, telephone has to go to the switch. From the switch, it will be distributed, isn't it? So that switch. When you build with the Prophet ﷺ, you go through the switch. That switch that open and up and down, that take you to the main mind of the switch, is your guide. Is your sheikh. He is the, what you call that. Is the switch, is up or down, is not? But the switch is, cannot function, has no has no value compared to the to the main what you call the main uh, <coughs> to the main box main frame main frame is Prophet the switch importance of the switch is coming from the importance of the main frame Switch without a frame, nothing. A frame without a switch, your link broken. Can be frame without a switch because some people they don't have a guide, they don't want to use the switch. So the link is what? Broken. They don't open it. So your Sheikh guides you. Our Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad Nazim Adil Hakari, may Allah bless him, give him a blessing, guide us. He is the switch that open and close. To open is, means to open the link by strengthening your faith is by salawat on Prophet. Don't leave salawat on Prophet. If you leave anything else, it's okay, but don't leave salawat on Prophet. Your salawat on Prophet build back your faith means you are accepting Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu you are accepting how you are going to miss your prayers. When he is 
ordering you by Allah's order to do your five prayers. <coughs> People are calling for building back that link. And they are bringing too many, what, too many uh, ways. And the one of the most important ways, methods, is meditation. You know meditation? <coughs> okay. Bringing meditation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because people want to to sit and <coughs> build that link. And Allah is saying to you, I'm giving it to you in a, in a, on a plate, a golden plate, that meditation. It's very simple, very easy. Sleep with wudu. And when you are sleeping, make salawat on Prophet. What happened? Your eyes will close. That's not meditation. Because oh. your sleep becomes meditation. Takes oh. you to the oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you meditate, you're closing your eyes artificial. <laughs> For me, <laughs> ah, tiring. <laughs> I go sleep. <laughs> I make wudu, pray to rakat. This is Grand Sheikh's wasiya, uh, uh, well, to us, and Maulana Sheikh advice is make wudu, pray to rakat. <coughs> Stand up facing Rawdatul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Sharif facing Prophet's, uh, Prophet, Prophet's uh, house or I, cannot, I don't know what to say in the Arabic how to call it, it's Muajah to face the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he is now in his presence and make hundred times salawat to the Prophet directly look as if connecting your heart with his heart I said, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulullah, coming to you with this hundred salawat, do the salawat, and go sleep. That meditation, as when you close your eyes, all of you become, all of your body become meditating under the throne of Allah. But that doesn't mean you stop the other meditation, but this is your own Allah. That's why you see Awliya Allah, they sleep after Fajr, after Shrak. Because it is the right time for meditation. After that time of prayers, you need to make meditation to unwrap up everything. They sleep because when they sleep, they are me fully meditating with all their body. They sleep before Asr. Because when Asr enters the time of Asr, at the first Asr they sleep for half an hour or one hour, and then they sleep after Aisha. It, it, is, it is the meditation of Awliya. Our meditation is to follow Nurjan <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to meditate to Mawlana Sheikh Nazim making muraqaba to Mawlana Sheikh Nazir and that is important as Mawlana said many times to make muraqaba to him and the best times he said when people are sleeping they are awake especially before Fajr by one hour sitting and connecting your heart with Mawlana Sheikh Nazir's heart so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build that Link back through building our faith for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and love of Awliya. Hurmat al Habib, Hurmat al Fatih.